weekly yarns. I'm hoping that we're going to start and do a weekly yarn on a Sunday morning like this. What it is, it's a catch up on the week and we'll see what little jobs we've getting done. Like a few lines here that's been hand painted but hasn't been videoed because it was, I don't think it was that important to video it. We've rebuilt the engine again, didn't video it because I didn't, you've seen us build it, you've seen us taking the bits. So I'll just put it back together. There's a couple of images there. There's a bit of a run around to show you what it's like with the fan and everything on it. Um, so, as I say, this is just a something new. We'll do a weekly catch up. I'll still video the big jobs. This week, we're probably going to go back to the farm, pick up the, the PTO and bring it home and strip the PTO and clean it and get it painted with primer. We'll see. It's either the PTO or it's the axle. We'll see what we'll get, uh, what we'll fancy challenging this week. But we'll see, things like the cleaning of those shafts and things like that. It's just a catch up as to where we are on the little job so that when we get to finish like this, people don't say, whoa, what happened there? We missed all that. Well, yous didn't, not really. So, as you can see, we're getting the bits put back on here. Through the week, putting the fuel pump back on, putting the manifolds back on, hand painted all the fuel lines. For this, I'll give you a whiz around later. Hand painted all the fuel lines, fuel filters back on, sealed the front end up, took the rocker cover off because I did notice when I put the the inlet manifold on the rocker cover or gasket on the other side has crept in so I took it off to straighten that out needed to get it off anyway just to have a look inside make sure everything was nipped up tight in case we needed to readjust the uh, the tappets when we fire it up got the fan on but everything's going well So what have we done here? Putting our fuel pump back on, painted all of the fuel and the fuel lines by hand. It was easier than spraying them, to be honest with you, it really was. I painted some of the nuts, but then realized that the amount of pressure you've got to put on these down to seal, the paint was gonna come off anyway, so I stopped painting them. We'll paint, we'll touch these up once everything's in place. We've got the mana fuel filters back in place, manifolds back in place, both sides, heat a glow plug in the front, fan on. I haven't put the injectors back in at the minute because I want the injectors to go away to my local diesel uh, injection people to be tested. They test them free of charge for you. We can re-tip them at 21 quid a tip, but we'll have them checked out first. If they need re-tipping, they'll get re-tipped. We'll see. But I'm just putting all the pipework in place so that it can uh, sit there hard enough. It's not touching anything. It's not harming anything. Okay. That's where we are with the engine at the minute. Lots of little jobs. Really the little, like hand painting the pipes, wasn't really worth doing the filament off, but it was a job that had to get done. It was like wire brushing those rods from the frames off the gearbox, that wasn't uh, worth wire brushing either, but it's a job that had to be done. Everything else being sorted out and put away. Sway chains, hanging there. They're finally got touched up in the middle of the links and everything was sorted out with that one. What else are we getting done this week? Well, getting some wire brushing done. Two ticks. Remember these? I'll put your photograph up here. These are the steel bars out of the gearbox, out of the frame, the, the 
are badly pitted with rust, but they've come up nicely. They've been wire brushed. They come up nicely. All four of them come up the same. Got them soaked in oil there. Protected. I need to put them away till we need them. We might not need them because they're out of the spare gearbox, if you remember. So we might not need them. So, what else have we done this week? Well, remember the shaft out of the, the diff. damage right well if we measure this we'll find out that it is just standard one inch stock bar with two holes drilled in the end so what else do we need to know about it need to know what type of material it is quick little workshop method which I'll show you take you through it quick little workshop method one get a file brush it across up with a file just gently if it bites in it's mild steel if it skims over the top chances are it's high carbon steel we're going to use a grinder I'm going to put a grinder on this kind of damages any more than it's done if we get yellow sparks, it's mild steel. If we get white sparks, it's high carbon steel. So then we'd be able to go to our metal suppliers, buy a length of bog standard, one inch, if it's mild steel, one inch stock material, drill a couple of holes in, can replace that. If it's high carbon steel, we could even just buy a one inch bar of PGS precision ground steel which is high carbon job done not very expensive probably cheaper than going to the tractor supply shop and buying from them right let's have a look at this little test we're going to do then eh? right so turn my grinder on watch down here if we get yellow sparks this is soft this is mild steel they're beautiful in yellow aren't they if we're getting white sparks it will be high carbon steel but this this is just low carbon steel so another question I get asked is what equipment do I use for the filament well I've got an iPhone 7 Plus that my son gave us. I hate Apple gear. I really do hate Apple gear. I'll not have an iPad. I just don't like them. I've got PCs that I built myself so I could run my four screens off them. Um, as I say, I used to use an iPhone 6 that my son gave us because um, we used to fly the drones with them. So I had them. He gave us this iPhone 7 Plus because he with his business he got a new phone upgraded i bought a cheap tripod this camera's on now uh 10 quid off ebay you know what i mean it's not expensive i think the most expensive thing i've got is wait a minute it's my little wireless mic set that i've just purchased and what trial in it to see how good it is um my overhead shots were so the for the overhead shots we used to come off this pole here this little tripod i used to cable tie that to that pole about where that clamp is now so we could get overhead so the the shots of the hydraulic selector valve were done from that little tripod cable tied to that pole um, i've just bought this this week this is one of these umbilical arm things that so I'll try that again the other overhead shots of the diff and the oil pump the hydraulic oil pump being done were using that which is an old monopole that I had or a single leg stand for my cameras from years ago as you see, I've used K 
cable band in here to screw it to the roof joists. You put put the phone in the clip here, turn it sideways in the ball joint, and use this because obviously when you turn it sideways, the this wants to rotate, so you use the wire through the little hoop on the top here to stop it rotating. So I haven't got any fancy equipment. As I say, the, the most expensive thing I've bought is my microphones. My telephones was given to us by my son. Yeah, the, the, the video of the hydraulic pump, that was a good one. Um, took us about an hour to film that hydraulic pump. Took us about four hours to get the video off the phone. For whatever reason, the phone gave up half of the videos that day, but then I kept getting messages saying there'd been catastrophic failures, the phone had stopped working, I had to change the format in which the videos were downloaded. It's all good stuff. Uh, after four hours, eventually, managed to get the videos off the phone to my computer but then the player in Microsoft wouldn't play the videos so I had to use VLC to play the videos and then when I put it into my editing suite that could see them and got it to work that way so you nearly didn't get the video of the hydraulic pump um, I could have pulled it all to bits again and done it again but I didn't really want to do that. Never mind. These things are sent to try us. Um, I have heard people using GoPros with the same problems. Uh, and my son's got a GoPro. He's, he's lent us a GoPro once before for the petrol tank job. You see it on the petrol tank? Oh, sorry, the diesel tank. Um, the problem I have with the GoPro is when you push the button, there's nothing telling you that it's recording. Like on the phone here, the red round button goes to a red square button and the clock starts counting. On the GoPro it doesn't. So unless I'm using it wrong, mind. But never mind. Anyways, let us know in the comments if you like them or not. If not, we'll just crack on and get jobs done on the engine. Well, a little bit of a catch up there as to what's been happening this week getting lots of little bits done uh, a couple of big jobs done hydraulic pump diff stripped things like that we now know what type of material we've got so we can source parts if we decide to put that diff back together um, oh something that we that I didn't mention to you remember when we pulled the bevel gears out of the diff well I looked in the parts book that night in the core of the bevel gears is supposed to be a bush and that isn't that isn't a bush in the gears but they fit that shaft beautifully that shaft fits in the casting beautifully so again it leads me to believe that somewhere along the way someone's been in there and replaced those bevel gears we'll see we'll see right well, I think that's it for this week. We've just about we've covered everything that we've done. We've gotten lots of little jobs done. Um, some I haven't told you about. We start at lambing this week, so went up to the farm, get a few jobs done. Um, little lambs kicking about. Got some video. Um, two of the little ladies we had to help there this yesterday. Um, so I've got some video of that. I'll put that on. Just popped in this morning. My daughter's on holiday. So we just popped in, let the dog out. And I've just given this little lady a hand to pop out. She looks like she's gonna be popping a second one out in a second. And there's another lady up against the wall there. She's obviously busy. Lambing, so we'll just keep an eye on her. There's a little one. She's quite happy cleaning away there. The lamb fitting healthy. You can see it.
it for this week thanks for visiting and um, don't forget if you like my videos and you want to see more please like and subscribe doesn't cost you anything to do that it's free um, but it helps the channel tremendously helps us to grow we need to grow in order to produce more videos like this to help people out so as I say thanks for visiting hopefully see you next time see you during the week with bits and pieces that we get done for this thanks now bye Thank you.